Hi there, it's Riko Kovasen here with the mixed media tag. I'm using the melted powders for this one and also creating my own mix of rusty powders. I really like to make dimensional projects so the melted products are really handy for that because I can use those to make my own embellishments using silicone molds. I'm starting this project by making some embellishments. This mold is by Prima Marketing and I'm going to make some gears and nuts and bolts using it. I'm starting by putting some melted powder to a foil cup and then heating it so it melts. Next I add some colors in. For this project I chose platinum powder but I'm also adding some of 101 in there to get that kind of varying effect. Before I pour the melted powder to the mold, I'm heating the mold a little bit because this makes it more smoother, so there's no lines in ready embellishment. The powder starts to cool down quite rapidly, so you need to do bigger shapes in parts, and that's where the heating of the mold is really handy. After the embellishments are cooled down, I pop them out of the mold and then you can just trim them using scissors if, if there are some marks that you need to get rid of. And when they come out of the mold, they are usually dull, so there is no shine on top. You need to melt them really carefully, just a little bit, to bring back the shine. Naturally, if you heat them too much, you lose the details and the shape, so be careful. Next, I'm turning my attention to the background. I covered a chipboard tag using old book paper, and now I'm adding some stamping in there. This is a Go Figure stamp from WOW, and I'm then adding embossing powder on top, which kind of reminded me about old jeans. It's actually from the Cosmic set called Space Dust, but to me that kind of reminded of old jeans. Next I'm adding some District Oxide inks to the mix, kind of going for that grungy weathered look. I added splashes using black gesso, kind of little droplets of oil, and then I'm doing a couple of more elements to layer in the tag. I cut a chicken wire styled piece using a C6 die and also embossed a piece of brick wall. I'm treating the brick wall with several different powders, also including the space dust one. It's kind of bringing that background and foreground together and also adding two different rusty tones, bark and honey. For the chicken wire, I'm using two layers of platinum embossing powder and then the third layer is from the metals set. Uh, crusty copper and the platinum tone. When I then have all my elements done, it's just easy to layer everything together. I'm starting with the brick wall, which is now a bit darker than you last saw it because I added some diluted gesso in there. So it's only going to the grooves, to the smooth parts of the paper, which are absorbing the paint. and thus making it darker. I'm also treating the edges of the tag with the two rusty kind of powders, the honey and bark, kind of a mix of those two. So it's almost like I'm inking the edges, but instead I'm using embossing powders to create that grungy weather look. Then I add my brick wall using double-sided tape and adhesive and making a little layered piece using the chicken wire styled piece, a piece of actual denim and a piece of patterned paper which I treated using the same oxide ink color I have in the background. I use a stapler 
to attach all the different layers together and then use some pieces of cardboard to make them more dimensional. To add a little bit more grungy detail to the tag, I'm warping some wire around the tag and then adhering my photo on top. I want one of the bigger embellishments I made using Melted kind of to be near the photo, near the focal point. So I need to use cardboard again to lift the photo to the same level as the dimensional embellishment. Then it's just the finishing touches. A couple of feathers there and then the smaller pieces I made with melted powder. Kind of the finish, finishing touches. And I finished the tag using a sentiment sticker. So even there's quite a lot going on. The colors are the same throughout the project. There's not that many different tones. So everything kind of blends in and goes together because there's the same colors used in the background and in the foreground. I hope you liked the video. Please let me know if you have any questions. Thank you for watching. I'll be seeing you later this month. Bye bye!